Hello people, Kevin Thailand here. Uh, a quickish one, it's very important this. Uh, you need to, to watch it and know exactly what's happening in Thailand, in Pattaya particularly. Uh, I did recently, two things uh, happened. One, I took, removed all nightlife down. Everything gone, anything to do with nightlife has been taken down. Two, straight after that, I put up an apology to two Thai ladies. N they were both separate incidents. They were not anything to do with, with each other. So let's start first of all with the apology. In January uh, 2016, nearly two years ago, I put up a video, I was, I, I put on a video on YouTube and on Facebook. It was an altercation, uh, a, 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 a bit of a fight, which has been ongoing between a gentleman at the bar who runs the bar and two ladies, one of which works there, or used, had used to work there. I had nothing to do with it, but I was dragged into it by the owner of the bar. I had one subscriber and he told me to put the video on YouTube, on Facebook. I had no ideas, no, I wouldn't have, uh, about cyber laws in, in Thailand. Uh, my fault, I should have done that. But I had no idea, no idea what was going on. I did it for him. I did it. Now the thing was, he knows and knew about cyber laws. He used me. He used me for his own gain. You're out of order. But anyway, by the by, it caught up with me. Uh, March, I did put a video uh, going to the police station and the case was dropped, a uh, criminal. The case was dropped, I had witnesses um, a, a good standing witnesses and everything was dropped, it was kicked out. 18 months later, just recently, it returned, but on a civil case, they can come back at, on civil. Now this is to do with comments, comments that I wrote, that I said, that other people said, and I was asked by the court to put an apology to these ladies on. Uh, I put on what I was told to, what I was given. Uh, which isn't enough in light of the matter and what, what went on, what happened. It, it wasn't enough. And I do sincerely apologise to Sawana and Aranatoa for the video. But I was new, I was naive, unknowledgeable about it all and I was used so no more of all that I want these ladies no no more comments um, about them when I put up the apology I disabled all comments because it's the comments that will damn you that it will They'll copy them, they'll print them out, they have the comments, the names, everything. I disabled comments to stop any bad comments. Not for me, for you, for, for viewers that are putting stuff on and you, you don't understand cyber laws. I didn't, I really do now. But, on Facebook, I can't disable comments. And there was one put on there, a comment by Mr. Pledger, again, bad, that they had printed off and in the call. What happens, what goes on, before I could delete it, it they had it. And I've asked you so many times to stop putting up these bad shit comments, and still you do. I'm not doing it to protect me, I'm doing it to protect you. What happens in the future with that, they have it, 
absolutely of total and half tolerance. Uh, I'm sorry, but I try to protect you as much as I can, and it's not just me. Now, going forward with the, with other defamation, there is um, an American guy, an idiot, he's going round and he's saying that I defamed his ex-wife. No, I didn't. I did show images, I, I, I showed her what she copied from your video, taken of her having a go at us through you, and I returned it as a joke, as a laugh, not against her, against you. And it worked, it made you very angry. Good, good, did its job. But, you started screaming defamation. And as I just said, nothing was spoken, nothing was written, no comments by me. There's no defamation. Only what you're trying to put forward and push her into doing, you can do that. You can do that, it will cost you. It's gonna cost you money. Secondly, I have also the video before I put that out, that you put on of her, of her with poking her tongue out, calling my girlfriend at the time a hooker. You called her a hooker, you described her, and then you showed her. <laughs> That's defamation. I have, and did, take that, I have the video. But then when I did my reply, you took yours down and re-edited and put it back up. I had both videos, the before and the after. So you want to go to court, you want to take me to court. We're all in court, including you and my ex-girlfriend Nan. We are still on talking terms. So, see you there, buddy. Uh, now, about the taking down of my nightlife videos. Yeah, absolutely. I think it was the right thing to do. It wasn't just about the gentleman who, who I captured with a girl who's married. Everyone grabbed on that, or 60% of people grabbed on that, yeah, he's, he's this, he's that. It wasn't just about him, it's all the people. It's about the girls that don't want it, that don't want family seeing it. It's about the, the bar owners and businesses that are suffering. People not wanting to go there because of it. Because of three or four or five every night. Guys walking up and down with videos, thinking that it's got a, it's gotten out of hand, and there's going to be repercussions. There really is. It's the amount of comments that I received saying about this gentleman that that I mentioned as one, just one of the reasons. He was that much. The big picture's massive, but you all grabbed on him and and blamed him. What the fuck? what you all make, not all of you, 60% of you, it's the whole picture, businesses, girls, customers, and, and it's gone too far, it's too much, and that's why I've decided to bring it all down, I live here, I am not going to be brought in as instigating anything or, or doing anything, there is so much here to look at, here, by the way, I'm at Cabbages and Condoms in Cozy Beach. This is where I am. Beautiful, eh? And as I said, there is so much more to show other than nightlife and girls. You know about the nightlife and girls. It's that, that, they're a bonus to everything else. Yet you just want to see that. I can't do it anymore. I'm not going to do it anymore. Someone said, oh, you're, you're, you're destroying your channel. Now I'm correcting it. I'm correcting my channel to what it should be. What it should be about. Retirement living, tourism, hotels, food reviews. You don't, you, you don't need, you don't need girls. You know the girls are there. You've seen the girls every day, every video, every night. So why do you need to keep them watching on and on and on and on and on? I've done the right thing. And, and 
if I end up with back to the one subscriber, I've still done the right thing. That, that is my view and that is how it's going to remain. So, they were two separate instances, nothing to do with each other. Anyway, probably not enjoyed it, liked it, but you've learned something. Cyber law in uh, Thailand is all about the comments more than the actual video. Unless you're saying in the video what you're saying in the comments. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you soon. Um, more coming. The, the uh, apologies, defamation, the uh, night light, all finished now. That has been fun. And we're getting on normal stuff, good stuff. Hope to see you soon. Bye-bye. Oh, when the sun beats down and burns the tar up on the roof On a blanket with my baby